Hello everyone, and thanks for visiting the Gnarly Farley Productions YouTube channel. We have gathered here a list of the top 10 places in New York City that you'll want to check out on your next visit. Number 10. Times Square. Times Square is a major intersection, destination of tourism, entertainment center, and neighborhood in the Midtown Manhattan section of New York City at the junction of Broadway and 7th Avenue. It stretches from West 42nd to West 47th Streets. Brightly adorned with billboards and advertisements, Times Square is sometimes referred to as the crossroads of the world, the center of the universe, the heart of the Great White Way, and the heart of the world. One of the world's busiest pedestrian areas, it is also the hub of the Broadway Theater District and a major center of the world's entertainment industry. Times Square is one of the world's most visited tourist attractions, drawing an estimated 50 million visitors annually. Approximately 330,000 people pass through Times Square daily, many of them tourists, while over 460,000 pedestrians walk through Times Square on its busiest days. Number 9. Rockefeller Center Rockefeller Center is a large complex consisting of 19 high-rise commercial buildings covering 22 acres between 48th and 51st streets in New York City. Commissioned by the Rockefeller family, it is located in the center of Midtown Manhattan. Spanning the area between 5th Avenue and 6th Avenue, it was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1987. It's located at 45 Rockefeller Plaza. Number 8. Radio City Music Hall Radio City Music Hall is an entertainment venue located in Rockefeller Center in New York City. Its nickname is the Showplace of the Nation, and it was for a time the leading tourist destination in the city. Its interior was declared a city landmark in 1978 and is notable as being the headquarters for the precision dance company, The Rockettes. Radio City Music Hall is the largest indoor theater in the world. Its marquee is a full city block long, its auditorium measures 160 feet from back to stage, and the ceiling reaches a height of 84 feet. It's located at 1260 6th Avenue in New York. Number 7. The Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty in Lighting the World was a gift of friendship from the people of France to the United States and is recognized as a universal symbol of freedom and democracy. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated on October 28, 1886, and was designated as a national monument in 1924. No charges made for entrance to the National Monument, but there is a cost for the ferry service that all visitors must use, as private boats are not permitted to dock at the island. The statue is situated in Upper New York Bay on Liberty Island, just south of Ellis Island, and is a must-see if you find yourself in the Big Apple. Number 6. The Empire State Building the Empire State Building is a 102-story skyscraper located on 5th Avenue between West 33rd and 34th Streets in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. It has a roof height of 1,250 feet, and with its antenna included, it stands a total of 1,454 feet tall. It stood as the world's tallest building for nearly 40 years, from its completion in early 1931, until the topping out of the original World Trade Center's North Tower in late 1970. Following the September 11th attacks in 2001, the Empire State Building was again the tallest building in New York until one World Trade Center reached a greater height in April 2012. The Empire State Building has one of the most popular outdoor observatories in the world. Having been visited by over 110 million people, the 86th floor observation deck offers impressive 360 degree views of the city. Number 5. Broadway Broadway Theater, commonly known as Broadway, refers to the theatrical performances presented in the 41 professional theaters with 500 or more seats located in the Theater District and Lincoln Center along Broadway. Along with London's West End theaters, Broadway theaters are widely considered to represent the highest level of commercial theater in the English-speaking world. It's a big part of New York City and its history, and I highly recommend you check it out. Number 4. Grand Central Station The current Grand Central Terminal was opened on February 2, 1913. Prior to the opening of this building, there were two previous stations on this site. 
Grand Central Depot, and Grand Central Station. The previous buildings served to unite all of the existing rail lines in New York at the time and to bring them all under one roof. From 1903 to 1913, Grand Central Station was systematically torn down and the current Grand Central Terminal was built in its place. Although the terminal has been officially called Grand Central Terminal since the present structure opened, it has always been more affectionately known as Grand Central Station. Whether you see it on a tour or explore it on your own, this unique and beautiful piece of New York City should not be missed. Number 3. The Metropolitan Museum of Art the Metropolitan Museum of Art, or the Met, is located in New York City and is the largest art museum in the United States, and is among the world's most visited art museum. Its permanent collection contains over 2 million works, divided among 17 curatorial departments. The main building on the eastern edge of Central Park along Manhattan's Museum Mile is by area one of the world's largest art galleries. If art's your thing, this place is for you. It's located at 1000 Fifth Avenue. Avenue in New York. Number 2. The National 9-11 Memorial and Museum. This site commemorates the September 11, 2001 attacks and the World Trade Center bombing of 1993. It is operated by a non-profit corporation whose mission is to raise funds to program, own, and operate the memorial and museum at the World Trade Center site. The names of 2,983 victims are inscribed on 76 bronze plates attached to the parapets of the walls of the memorial pools. Number 1. Central Park. Central Park is the most visited urban park in the United States, with 40 million visitors in 2013 and one of the most filmed locations in the world. The park was established in 1857 on 778 acres of city-owned land. In 1858, Frederick Law Olmsted and Calver Vau won a design competition to improve and expand the park with a plan they titled the Greensward Plan. Construction began the same year and the park's first area was opened to the public in the winter of 1858. Central Park was designated a National Historic Landmark by the U.S. Department of the Interior in 1962. The park, managed for decades by the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, is currently managed by the Central Park Conservancy, under contract with the municipal government in a public-private partnership. Well, that's it for us today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We will be back with more Top 10 episodes in the coming weeks, so stay tuned.